Hey friends, so today we have a new story called The Night Before Hanukkah. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. Twas the, twas the night before the eight days of Hanukkah, families were preparing from New York to San Monica. The children soon nestled all sn snugged in their beds while visions of chocolate guilt danced in their heads. Mmm. The very next evening, our families gathered around. The festival of lights began right after sundown. Our menorah was set out by the window with care. It's an heirloom passed down from our great-great-grandma, Clara. Dad put on his yarmulke, pinned it down on his hair. Then Mom lit the shamish candle after saying the first prayer. The flames, how they flickered, our faces cast in light. We sang Rocks of Ages while the candles burned bright. Then we opened our presents. Oh wow, earrings for me. And a building set for my brother who's three. The night before we played dreidel, that's a top that you spin with four Hebrew letters, known hey, gimel, and shin. We each tossed in a coin made, it, made of chocolate called gilt. I snuck one and ate it before it could melt. Mmm, yummy. It was my turn to go. If it lands on Gimel, I win. But Shin turned up, so I put another coin in. Our dad won the game with our coins all ran out, but he divided up his winnings. Sharing is what it's all about. On the third night of Hanukkah, after the candles were aflame, dad read the story of Jewish heroes. Maccabees was their name. Let's take back our temple. The Maccabees lead with a shout. The Jewish people fought and won. They kicked the enemy out. Then they cleaned their holy temple and prepared to kindle the light. But the lamp had so little oil, it could burn for only one night. So they prayed for divine help, and help came indeed. The lamp stayed lit for eight days. God had met their need. Before their wandering eyes, a miracle took place. The glory of Hanukkah for old Jewish to embrace. On the fourth night, we ate lakos, deep fried potato pancakes. On the fifth night, jelly donuts, the ones my uncle Dan makes. Mmm, yummy. Look at all that yummy food, my friends. On the sixth night, we visit cousins. It's a family tradition. The ants make gravy and biscuit. Yummy smells fill the kitchen. On the seventh night, to share our happy Hanukkah mood, we brought presents for others and lots of holiday food. On the eighth and last night, Ma had bad news to report. I don't know how this happened, but we're one candle short. Don't worry, I said as I pulled a drawer handle. We could use this one, I cried, a birthday cake candle. Mom placed it in the menorah, then lit them all, left to right. Dad reminded us that, like our faith, they burn bright. And the last candle burned like they had for eight nights. We wish a happy Hanukkah to all, the festival of lights. The end. <laughs>